Pep, I've got two questions. First, Sergio Aguero seemed to take your decision quite professionally, quite well. Do you think it will give him motivation for, for Sunday? Because he, he expects to play nine Sergio, minutes. Sergio is not ready to play, I don't know how many minutes. So it was one month and a half injured and training four or five training sessions. But with Gabriel, who had been fit, maybe we'll play Gabriel, but in that position played, and uh, when play against 10, against 11, I thought we need players with the physicality, energy, we spend already one substitution, and we need one, you know, one player with uh, or, or 10 players in that position, they can, you know, they can, they can be effective and they can be physicality better than right now Sergio is. My second question is, Sunday is the last game for Manchester City of the year, won the treble and also for the decade you won four Premier League titles. Over the, the ten years you've been on an upward curve, the club has been up curve. This is the first sort of bump. Um, can you explain why you think the club has been so successful over ten years and also what is the challenge now to, to stay at the top for, for even longer? Well the club in the last decade make uh, an incredible step with different managers, different players that sustain that. And I think uh, in 10 years won four Premier Leagues, I think so, so it's not, not bad considering this league, but uh, there are periods, so football is, uh, is not all the time, you know, being up there. So we, we were in incredible two seasons and now we are in this competition in the Premier League, we lost more games than, than the last previous two seasons and you have to adapt, you have to analyse and, and move forward. Does adapting mean signing players in championship? No. Nope. That um, felt like a, a very draining night tonight. Do you, do you, what's your feeling? Do you feel like you have to make a lot of changes for the game or something? Well, and now I'm not able to respond to, to make an answer because uh, tomorrow, or especially the day of the game, I have to evaluate the players how they feel. So, of course, we have to put fresh legs because one of the team is so physical as well, uh, Sheffield. But, you know, in these conditions, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know how they're going to recover, the, you know, how they, they feel. We'll see. Have you got to play 10 minutes at 18 minutes tonight and then again in, in left? Like 10 minutes at 18 minutes tonight and then play again in less than 48 hours. Does that show how dangerous this schedule is? That, you know, players getting injured and things like that. They've gone through a lot tonight and need to play again. Uh, everybody's agree about that. I think all the managers, everybody's agree about that. Every season is the same. The first season it was the same. I played everything in Anfield. And two days later, with Barley at home, we played 75 minutes, 10 against 11 as well. So, uh, yeah, the people, you know, <laughs> my words are not going to change. I think Jose Mourinho said the same, and Jurgen, and, but every season is the same. So. TVs decide and and we have to to adapt. Need to change. It's risking the players fitness really, isn't it? Yeah, but we have to play, no? So but long term, is, is it something you'd like to have any change? Do they need to look at play well for that? I don't have any confidence about that. They don't care. Sorry? Raheem will be on penalties or off penalties? Yeah, but I like the core, so the first, the last action I I said Gundo, because he's an incredible taker in the falls, and he decided to do it. So mentality that Raheem is extraordinary. The courage to, you know, to take the penalties. You, you said that this season reminds you a little bit of your first season. Your answer to the first season was to bring in new players to re-energise the team. Is that what will happen this season because you are a long way away from where you want to be? No, it's different in the terms that we were not in the top, so maybe we, we lose this game, it was the first season, but today and you have to analyze today the game and the game is 80, 80 minutes with 10 against 11 against that side, so after that it's difficult to, you know, to, to analyze the game itself. It was, we knew it was so difficult because it's an incredible team, the Nuno team is really good, but we knew it, but it's completely different when you play 10 against 11, 80 minutes, so... And now the situation is one team like is in advantage for the way they play, for the quality they have, and and you have to adapt. So you have to fight for for it to go to the second position. You have the after tomorrow, after tomorrow, yeah, after tomorrow, another chance to to try it.
Okay. You said there will be no new signings in January. Does that mean Cancelo will definitely stay in January? I hope so. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you.